Is it hard for you to trust patrons now since your videos have leaked too? Um, not really. Um, the person who leaked the videos, it was very obvious that like, as soon as I saw it, I figured they were going to leak and I should have just taken them down. Um, but somebody pledged and then pulled their pledge like pretty much immediately. And I thought to myself like, yeah, that person's probably up to something. Um, and yeah, it is like, it's hard to like trust people for sure. I will say, um, but I think that people like, I typically get a pretty good feel about people. Like there are people who I like typically like know that they're not being genuine. Um, not always, but most of the time I do. And I just like, like <laughs> don't talk to them a whole lot. Um, I've had that issue with a few patrons where like, you know, I just could tell that they were fishing for things or drama or whatever. And I just kind of was like, okay, like I hope you have a good day. I was never mean to them, but I just, you know, I don't, I don't want to play into that. But it's like, okay, I, I do want to talk about this for a second. Um, so, yes, as, as most of you I'm sure have seen, like my house tour from Patreon League. And apparently this is um, proof that we are not having financial problems. And I don't, that makes literally no sense because, okay, here's my one, here's my big thing about this. Greg posted a house tour like on YouTube. Uh, thank you, Merlin. Um, Greg posted a house tour on YouTube like three months ago, something like that. Um, thank you, Nina. And um, nobody said anything about it then. Like nobody was like, uh, thank you, delicate doll. Nobody was like, oh, you're scamming people, blah, blah, blah. But now that it's my house tour and I posted it on the Patreon, people are like, oh, they have, you know, a nice house. So therefore they don't have financial issues. And it's, the there was no correlation there because we bought this house when we were financially stable and before Adpocalypse and before the IRS and all of that stuff. It's not like I went and bought this house last week. We actually, we had this house paid off and we had to go and remortgage it because of pending financial street uh, stress. People with money problems, foosball tables. Yes, I already talked about this. Uh, the foosball table that is new, we got for free. We did not pay for that. Just like uh, the pool table we have was here when we moved in. We didn't pay for that. <laughs> Mostly everything that we have that is not business related we got for free or it was a gift but like my house has nothing to do with like the size of my house it has nothing to do with the fact that we're being audited or the fact that adpocalypse happened because that wasn't something any of us expected so it's it's really it's really silly I'm financially stable right now because I bought my Louis V bag four years ago. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, there's no correlation. And if you guys want to think that, that's fine. But I mean, for the most part, I've like seen, like, it hasn't, like, you know, I don't have a bunch of people like, wow, you scammed me. Didn't you get that house like two, three years ago? Yeah, we bought this house in 2015. So, uh, way before Adpocalypse happened. And like I said, we, um, thank you, Hannah, for 100 bars. We, so we had bought uh, the set um, last year and we ended up selling that because of financial problems. And um, we also, so we used that money from the set to pay off the rest of this house so that we wouldn't have a mortgage. But based on what we think might happen with the IRS, we ended up remortgaging the house because we were worried that we would need a cushion, so. Why don't you downgrade your house if so many of the rooms are unused? Um, really no rooms are unused. Most stuff is used for um, like recording. Um, and then we have a, a two guest rooms, but Greg also records in those. How are you? I wouldn't talk about money stuff. Well, I mean, Greg, I'm not saying anything Greg hasn't already said, so. 